You see Boy, he's already landing. hit the tire. You see the tire there, right, right at the bottom of your screen. That's what he hit that catapulted him up in the air. Look how gently the thing just sat right over on its side. I can't believe it. it he's out. <laughs> he's climbed out of the truck. That's what that cheer is all about. There's Wayne Jacks. He just got in way too hot. You see, now he's in the gravel. No way to stop that truck. It hits the tire wall, climbs it, gets into the fence, and almost into the parking lot big on the back. Flip, big roll. Now, tire walls... Uh, are a mixed blessing. And anybody who's road raced a lot has been into their share of them. As there sits Ray Daniels. He was to the outside of Spray. Now, I'm not saying that Jack touched him, understand. But he was going to the outside of the Quaker State truck. And it was very, very difficult to tell from our pictures exactly what launch. Twins for Ron Hornaday have come with less than 10 laps to go. But today, if he's going to pull off the miracle, it's going to be a tough challenge. He's starting 17th. The Napa Chevrolet has been behind the curveball ever since Friday's practice session when the driver of the number 16 truck took a hard crash into the wall at the styrofoam through the sand traps, rolling the truck several times, destroying the primary vehicle. The same rip that Hornaday cracked back at Orlando. Just staying up high going in the corner. He's not following the truck The truck in front of him. Don't know what's going on there. Whoa! Oh, look out! We got trouble. This is going to hurt. Uh-oh. Oh, my. Oh, my. Yep. Keep your fingers crossed. And let's get a look at it here. Oh, my. Man. He rolled it. He got upside down. He got clear into the inside of the truck. He hit those big tires that were protecting, uh, protecting that inside guardrail because of the angle, and he got completely upside down. A little bit. Might have been some contact there as Andy Houston might have touched him just a little bit. But he's going backwards and he gets oh. into those tires and boy, that's a sudden stop. And look at those, those tires. I don't know how much they weigh. Racing in the fourth position. He looks to the inside of Todd Bodine. Todd comes down the hill, forces him to the inside. The air gets underneath the truck, turns it over. One revolution and then back on four wheels. What a ride. What a ride. He just... Front tire. Okay, okay let's look. see what happened. Looks like bump drafting might be... Yeah, Dennis gave him a little shot. Wow! Wow, completely over. Here goes Terry. Boy, Terry had a wild ride through the grass. He was fortunate that his truck stayed down. You see the roof flap just deploy. Looks like the four truck gets a little sideways. He might have made a slight bit of contact with the 10, with the 10 of Terry Cook. Watch the four truck. Kelly Sutton's going to come along and clip her. She was out of out of control a little bit coming in there you could see that she was just trying to recorrect when right. she got into that four. Yeah she was sideways she had lost control coming in and you can see the radiator leaking there but. Kyle Busch was in the truck he's driving. Oh there they go. Oh no. Hornaday goes around. The Ray Kurt the kid almost upside down and he does go on his foot as Ron Hornaday. There just wasn't any way. Hornaday rolls again in turn number one. Said it, the 88 tandem in the middle of the track. Johnny Sauter, he won at Daytona earlier this year. Can he do it again? They wreck behind him. They're rolling behind him. Now the 88 spins. Thor Sport is going to win. It's going to be Johnny Sauter that will get the win, but they wreck behind him. Matt Crafton has not got to the start finish line yet. And they're still wrecking. Crafton does slide by the start finish line. The 32 of Miguel Paluta was upside down. It's on fire now. Keep it behind you, keep it behind you, keep it behind you. We're on the go, we're on the go. The white flag is out. They're going to crash. Sauter with a big run. They're crashing. Christopher Bell upside down. to me like will win this race. Oh, Briscoe gets loose. Austin Wayne Self around. Heavy contact with the 99 of Peters up and over.
Austin Wayne Self in the 22, and that upside down 99 is Timothy Peters. In that you're in a pack like this, especially when you're a rookie. Oh, there it Whoa. goes. In the middle. Oh, oh no. Austin oh, Wayne no. Self, an upside down is the 45 of Majeski. Let's hope he gets back on his tires here. That thing's square on the roof. What a shame. Uh, yeah, Time at Jeske.